congratulations on the film. It's Thank you. just so, so amazing. Just brilliant. Thank you. Um, um, obviously, like millions of other people, uh, the Rocky films are really very personal to me. I grew up watching them with my family. Um, and there was a lot of expectation um, and hype around the film. Um, what was your initial reaction when Ryan approached you to play the son of this iconic character? <laughs> I, was, I said, cool. <laughs> and I was, it, it was it, only because we were, we haven't even shot for Real Station yet. So we were literally, you know, walking the set one day and he asked me like, you know, do you want to play the son of Apollo Creed? I'm thinking about doing the story. I said, cool, let's do it. And then we went and shot a, a completely different film. So it was already a seed that was planted in my head. So at the moment that he originally, the first time I heard it, it was just like, it was like, cool, let's do it. So then I started, we started talking about it more and more. And I started, you know, then things started to really weigh on me. I was like, okay, cool. This character, you know, Rocky, it's been 40 years, this world, the legacy, just all that just started to kind of come into focus. And I was really excited and I was really up to the challenge, you know, especially because I, you know, I, I was so comfortable with Ryan and, you know, and then uh, once things started to become more real and the studios getting involved and we finally got Sly on, on board, once we started to get to know each other, you know, Sly immediately took that pressure and that weight off my shoulder. So it wasn't me trying to imitate him, or it wasn't a Rocky Seven. he made it very clear to me that this is your movie, this is Creed One. this is your thing, do your thing, do your version. And it, it made it easier for me to go to work every day and just do do my thing. Yeah, I know that you trained vigorously for, for the role, was it, mm -hmm. it was about a year, was mm -hmm. it? Um, what was the hardest part of that training for you? The food. Yeah. It was the diet, it, it was like just changing the diet, but once, that was the hardest thing, but once I actually got over it, then it, it was kind of not smooth sailing, but it, it wasn't the it was no longer the hardest thing anymore because my body was just used to eating clean so much. But when you get away, when you when you give up <clears throat> and you take away sugar, dairy, you know the you know the cheese, the bread, the carbs, the pasta, all that stuff that you're so used to eating, you know it it was pretty. So is it like a high protein kind of diet? High protein, small portions. I ate, you know, uh, every two and a half hours. I would do like, you know, broccoli, brown rice, chicken, steak, spinach, brown rice. It was like a variation between a protein, a carb, and a vegetable, but small portions and every two and a half hours. Wow. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Most of the time you're eating, you're not even hungry. Yeah, but you have to. Mm -hmm. Wow. As well as physically preparing for the role, how did you mentally prepare for the role and how did you want to make Adonis your own? I think, I mean, you know, there is no, there isn't an, another Adonis, so I think whatever version of that was gonna be, I was gonna make it, make it my own uh, Adonis. Uh, you know, we were just, you know, me and Ryan, we really wanted to figure out who he was, you know, what was he missing, what was his childhood like, what, what, what would it be like having a dad that was the most famous fighter in the world, but you never met him, but his legacy was kind of stopping you from doing what you really wanted to do. You know, you have so many questions and nobody has the answer, so I think that just kind of had an inner frustration and um, kind of a hole that was inside of Adonis that he needed to fill, and um, and also the lack of a father figure and mentor, you know, in his life, so actually finding that in Rocky really, you know, um, you know, unknowing to him, he found that in, in Rocky and looking for answers that about his father. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned mentor. I, mm -hmm. How was not only working with Sylvester as an actor, but working with him playing Rocky Balboa? I mean, how was that? It, it was. It was. Uh, it was incredible. I mean, it's. It's a. Uh, Rocky is so close to Sly for such a long time. It's. It's sometimes. You, you, to the naked eye, you, you like the same person, you know. But when you really get a chance to meet him, get to know him, they're two totally different guys. And working with, you know, Sly, you know, the per like him, uh, the superstar that he's been for a really long time, he's so, is a wealth of knowledge, you know. Um, as far as the industry is concerned, the business, acting, uh, the the boxing of it all, because nobody knows movie boxing better than him. So, and then also working with him in a scene, it's incredible because he's a phenomenal actor. So I felt like. I got the best of both worlds, you know, through and through. Yeah, was it also amazing on Sunday being there when he won his Golden Globe? Oh no, that was amazing. I thought literally when you first said Sunday, I was like, oh, that's my cheat days. Oh, cheat so days were amazing. <laughs> no, but the Globes was amazing. It was incredible to be there and see him like take the stage, you know, after 40 years and you know win that that Golden Globe. It was super special, and I'm glad I had a part of that. Yeah. Uh, finally, really quickly, I'm dying to know: Do you have a favorite Rocky film and or a favorite moment from the Rocky franchise? Rocky one. Cool. Me too. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> oh.